All right, guys, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts. Here's a little fun fact video for field day that I'm at 2016. This is how we had internet at our site for the logging. And let me show you how this works. This is my TP-Link 24 dBi Wi-Fi dish. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz parabolic dish. Can be mounted horizontal or vertical. And on the dish, there's an end connector. Okay? Now the end connector I have connected with an adapter cable to this power link outdoor 1 watt or 1000 milliwatt USB Wi-Fi adapter. The power link, you can check it out online, uh, has a patch antenna inside, like a 4 inch antenna. Uh, but I drilled a hole in the side and I ran that cable out. I disconnected the internal antenna and hooked it up to the dish. So what I did, being that I'm a cable subscriber and I won't I guess give the name out because nobody endorsed me to tell them uh, but most of your cable companies have public Wi-Fi hotspots on their uh, routers that house over there has that it's a public Wi-Fi hotspot 15 megs down 2 megs up they have it they have it all these people have it so what I did was I used uh, the dish and pointed it off that house and uh, got a perfect link this dish will get Wi-Fi a couple miles away if you have a dish on the other side. So I got a link and this USB adapter goes over to my laptop. Now on my laptop, what I'm doing is USB in and I have Wi-Fi, okay? However, what you got to do now if you want to Google it is set up internet connection sharing. Basically, you're sharing the wireless connection in your adapter control panel, sharing it with the Ethernet, and then I outputted the eth I output the Ethernet into the Linksys WRT54. Uh, 54. It's a wireless G adapter, 2.4 gigahertz, and we connected that to this 12 dBi Yagi for 2.4 gigahertz. That is beaming over there to the software computer under the pavilion. And uh, we maintained our 15, 15 meg down, 2 meg up, uh, running this through the laptop. The TP Link dishes can be had online uh, for not much on eBay. There's an abundance of them, so pick one of those up. The Power Link adapters or any adapter will really work. Um, if you have an internal or a connection, an SMA connection for the adapter. If you just get a regular USB Wi-Fi adapter, it's not going to work without an antenna connector on it. Um, so there you have it, getting Wi-Fi at field day legally. If you know someone in the area and they have a Wi-Fi hotspot and they give you the SSID and permission to use it, so be it. But uh, that's how we got Wi-Fi at field day. 7-3.